Hello everyone, it's me, Pizza Cat here. Today we're going over some br some brand new news for the War Thunder. Birthday sale! Yep, the November 7th birthday sale is going on right now. So you can pick yourself off a bunch of premium vehicles on 50% off discounts. So terms, regular price would be $60, now it would be $30. Leopard 2A4, 30 a 10 is now 30 So if you've been waiting to pick up a premium pack vehicle or anything along those lines, now's your best time the sale lasts till november 14th so you got a week to buy whatever you want so uh yeah now that we got that out of the way let's go over what my recommendations and what i would pick up during this anniversary sale all right here we are we're in the storefront so let's start off with the planes because i mainly play aircraft if you're looking for a jet to grind the United States of America, USA Tech Tree, F5C, hands down F5C. Great performance, great turning rate, mid missiles, good cannons with plenty of ammo, busted damage model, this thing seems to tank a lot of stuff. Great, you know, pretty good acceleration, It's and a great ground attack loadout. You get a bunch of napalm, a bunch of bombs, so if you want to do bombing and sim, this guy's a money maker. One of the best pickups for USA. Uh, let's do next. A10 Thunderbolt. I was going to do a guide video on the A10. Um, it's coming out soon, guys, so stay alert. Alright, stay tuned, guys. There'll be an A10 guide. Uh, A10 is the second place. You got FYC, then underneath is A10. A10's pretty good. A10's, I think it's pretty good in air. You get the stupid AIM-9Ls, 30G all-aspect missiles. And if you set minimum fuel... And no bombs and just the aim nine else you get a pretty decent turn right as long as you don't get energy trapped or you do like a 90 degree pitch up and just stall out but this is a pretty good flick for air rb i would recommend the f5c over this guy you'd be a lot more useful and you're a lot faster just more of you're just better you're just the f5c is just better than the a10 but a10 is pretty solid and it could do some stuff in air rb especially if you have the right settings and the right loadout all right Next aircraft, the Aviate Harrier for the United States. Again, why buy the Harrier when you can get the F5C? Like, you get two good missiles, but you get a terrible turn rate. So, to be honest, the F5C is more noob friendly. If you're a beginner and you want to buy a jet for the USA, uh, first of all, I say don't. But if you want to buy a jet for the United States, I'd say get the F5C. Skip the Harrier, skip the A10. Go straight for the F5C. With F5C, you can just grind out the whole tech tree to get your F4 Phantom. Alright, what's next? T72 Terms. We're not going to do this guy. We're not going to do tanks. We're going to do planes first. I know a little bit more about the airplanes. MiG-21 SPSK. Basically, a uh, MiG-21 PFM, which is a 9.3 MiG-21. You just get two R60s, and you have to choose between a gun and flares. If that sounds like fun to you, well, you do you. It's pretty good, you know, like, yeah, two R60s are great missiles, but it, you're probably going to choose the gun over the flares, and if someone shoots a missile at you, like an R60, or like an AIM-9L, you're just fucked, you can't flare that. And, like, no, no, it's just a worse SMT. No, worse than the PFM, the one in the tech tree. I don't know what the name is for. Anyways, next, A5C. Honestly, this is the only option for China, so if you want to grind out China, buy it. It's good. You get two magic missiles. The thing is pretty cancerous, so um, I'd say don't buy it. Alright, this is a gay plane. All right, I'm just, these things are just so annoying. They're always like super high up eating a uh, magic twos. It's a pretty good pick. Basically, this is the only jet for China, so like, yeah. If you want to grind out Chinese aviation, buy this. There you go. It's a good pickup. It turns pretty well. It's got hard to aim guns, but yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, what's next? The Milan. Literally the only thing to grind out in France. It's quite painful. You're a Mirage 3 with two aim 9 bs and no flares. If you're grinding out France, go buy it. What can I say? It's pretty trash. Look at the reviews. Alright, next up we got the Draken. It's so painful, but it's the only thing to grind out in Sweden. You get four, eight, basically four AM 9 bs a fantastic air performance. This thing turns like a monster. It pulls AOA out of its ass. But no first, you have no flares. 
in a meta that's filled with all aspect 30G missiles. So, uh, yeah, you can piece the pictures together. It's not going to be fun for you when you get shot in R60 that you can't dodge. Yeah, you're going to get killed by a lot of missiles that you can't dodge in this thing. But yeah, if you want to grind out freaking Sweden, that's literally your only option. So, good for you, I guess. Next, we have the Wyvern. Beautiful plane. If you want to do British aviation, I'd highly recommend picking up the Wyvern. It has cracked acceleration on the deck. And for 4.0, this thing is so fast. I never really used this plane, but from what I've seen, it has a crap turn rate, so don't try to turn fight, but it doesn't matter when you're going like 600 kbh on the deck. And for 15 bucks, you can't go wrong at all. This is a solid pickup for Britain. Damn it, it took me all the way back. Next, the Mustang pack. I've never seen anyone bring out this Mustang. It's the $15 P51 Mustang. I don't know why you would choose this over the XP50. Even if you're a Mustang enjoyer, you could just get the XP50 unlocked, like the 6.3 Mustang. That's much better than this guy. I, I don't see the, the, the you know, I don't see the worth of it when you just buy an XP50. Which sucks. The day I'm filming this, which is November 7th, that the sale started, the GE sales are over, so you can't really just. Oh, I can pick up Object 120 and buy a bunch of stuff with the Golden English. Nope. The end of the sale. A4E for Israel. I actually own this aircraft. It's pretty fun. It's an A4E, so if I make 15 bits on your 6, you're probably gonna eat shit and die. Can't really turn too well, but it's quite fun. And it's the only aircraft to grind out Israel, so if you want to grind out Israel, buy the A4E. Literally, it's the only thing there. It's pretty good. Alright. What's next? It's a solid choice. All right, next up we got the Lightning F.53. Um, <laughs> it, it, uh, just come on, just look at the look at the average ratings. This is lower than the Milan, the Milan, which is terrible, terrible plane. Don't buy this. I'm not even going to go into detail. Don't buy this. It's 9.3, which basically means you're always going to get up to the 10.3, and this thing at 10.3 sucks. It's fast, but you have no flares. An A5C is pretty much like the same speed as you. You're slightly faster. But if A5C gets on like your 6 or gets in range of the magics, you're not dodging that. You're going to eat shit. The guns are crap. The guns are hard to aim. You get two red tops, which is nice, at 9.3. But you're never going to play a 9.3 in this thing. It's just going to be constant up tiers. Honestly, just buy the Wyvern if you want to grind out Britain. And then, I don't know, Talisman. Talisman something else. I don't know. Or buy the freaking Harrier GR1 or the Sea Vixen. Honestly, buy the Sea Vixen. Sea Vixen is a lot better than this. Sea Vixen gets the same missiles as these guys. He gets four of them. And he's at 8.7. Just don't buy this. It's cool. You get the rocket pods, but you don't have CCIP for the rocket pods. So you're just kind of like eating them, hoping you hit the guy. It's just no. Just don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't buy the lightning. Don't buy the lightning. Buy the Wyvern if you want to grind out Britain. Which, I don't know why you would. SU-7BMK. Oh, the PTSD's come back. I've flown this thing so much. I grabbed out the whole Russian tech tree with the SU-7BMK, basically. 200 battles I had to do with this thing. So, uh, I, I got a lot of things to say about this shit. I got a lot of stuff to say. Alright, where do we even begin? For grinding out? It's basically a retarded grinder. You just fly towards a base, drop your napalm, take out a base. Maybe no oh shit, microphone fell. <laughs> Maybe you go for a, go for a killer two with a slow target because acceleration. This thing is fast, especially for a nine point three. It's fast, but you're always gonna get up tiered. You're not. The times you get down tier though, mwah, beautiful. Eight point seven down tiers are the best in this thing. But oh my gosh, if someone shoots an R sixty, a magic. A aim 9 l you're just gonna be shot like you're just gonna eat and die um if i had to choose between the su7 and the su25k honestly right now i'd probably go for the su7 bmk it's a lot faster su25k you can get a lot of kills for research so 
yeah, if you're pretty good with the SG25K, go for it, but it's kind of cancerous right now, 9.7. I don't know why it's still 9.7. It's kind of retarded. They should move it up. But, no, they haven't. So we're going to have to wait another five months till they lower it, and they up it in BR. Honestly, I'd pick the SU7 BMK. That's going to be my recommendation for a USSR grinder. SU25K is good, but I don't want more of those on the battlefield. I really don't. They're a cancer. They're literally a tumor. Buy the SU7 BMK if you want to grind out Russia. All right, what do we have next? The Dora pack for Germany. I picked up this guy at this sale. I picked him up today. And I've had, I had like four or five matches in it. First impressions, beautiful, wonderful. Turn rate is all right. It's not really a turn fighter. It's more of a boom and zoomer. But you can still, you can hang around with some planes. The acceleration is pretty good. The guns are a little bit difficult because I'm not used to the guns of German planes. So it was a little difficult for me to aim. But for $15, man, this is a great grinder for Germany. It can get you up to rank 5. You get premium day for 15 days. A thousand golden eagles. This is just a banger deal for Germany. I'd say if you're just starting off Germany and you're thinking about the SPSK. And you're like, you know, a level 12, 15, 20. I'd say buy this guy. Buy the Dora first. And get yourself up to rank 5. And then maybe once you get like the first jets of rank 5, like the MiG-15 BIS, and you become a little bit more experienced with those jets, then buy the SPSK. But get the Dora. Get the Dora. It's really cheap right now. $15. You get some premium time to help you out and some Golden Eagles. And look at the reviews. The reviews speak for themselves. It's a fun plane. Not the most nuke friendly, but shit, if you take your time, you learn how to fly this thing, you can do pretty well for yourself. Alright, what do we got next? The Israeli Spitfire. I know a friend, uh, AOL Connection. He really enjoyed this thing. It turns, he said, it turns quite well. Um, I have the Tech Tree Spitfire for Israel, and it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I can't, it's a pretty good pickup. This thing is cracked turn rate. Nice guns. The guns are quite nice on this thing. And for $15, you get Golden Eagles premium account. You just can't go wrong with this thing. It's a good prop if you want to grind out Israel and get like the Valtour. It's really not a bad deal if you want to like grind out Israeli air on the cheap. Go for him. What do we have next? The Japanese Pacific Campaign. This is a must have for anyone who wants to do Japanese aviation. If you want to do a Japanese aviation trade, you must like this is a banger deal for $750. You get the A6M Co, which is a rank 4, so you can research rank 5. You get, it's a 0, what else do I have to say, it's pretty good. You get premium account time, golden eagles, and a fun campaign that you can play that gives you SL and research, and it's pretty fun. I haven't beat it yet, I'm going to do a review of the campaign, see what I think about it. But this is a no-brainer. For $7.50, you get a nice premium plane, premium account. And freaking Golden Eagles and the fun campaign. So honestly, buy this. If you want to do Japan, buy this. Don't buy the T2 early, you psychopath. Don't buy that. T2 early, it's not even on sale. Just don't buy it. Alright, last page. What else do we have? The Vow Tour. Don't buy this. You may be looking at this and like, whoa, 25 bucks for a jet? That's pretty good. It's French. It's French. Don't buy it. Don't buy this. Unlike the other Valtors, you don't get AIM 9Bs. You don't get four AIM 9Bs. You just get bombs and hard to aim guns. Don't buy it. Please don't buy this. It's not it's not worth it. Just pay the five dollars more and get the Milan if you want to grind out France. Trust me. The Milan is dookie dog shit, but you'll have so much more fun with the Milan than the Valtour. All you do here is bomb and die. Bomb and die. At least with the Mirage, you can dogfight some planes, and it's a fast, cool jet. Don't, don't buy this. Don't buy this. Just don't buy it. Don't buy it. No lo compras. No lo compras. The USA pack. If you're just, just starting out USA, this isn't the worst pickup because you get the fighter YP3, YP38. It's a P38. With a cracked SL modifier. I'm going to put a picture up here on the screen. 
700 something SL modifier, you just take Pritch money. And it's at a low BR, so if you're pretty good with this thing, you can just profit. And if you're like a new player, this is a solid pickup to start out your journey grinding out the USA Aviation. Because you get premium time, 850 golden eagles, and a fun campaign that you can play around with and test out the YP38. Yeah, just buy it. It's pretty good. Not as good as the Japanese one, the Japanese campaign, because Japanese campaign is a rank 4, but it's still pretty good. Alright. The TU1. In my 1,600, like, my 1,000 1, plus hours of War Thunder, I have not seen a single TU1. I've not seen a single one. Alright. That's a red flag right then and there. There's a reason nobody's buying this. It may look cool. Like, honestly, I think it looks cool. But it's an attacker. Alright. There's better. There's, like, the TU2. Better attackers in the tech tree for Russia. And it's $1,750. It's more expensive than the Dora. Just why? Why? Why would you buy this? I know you want to do Russia. But honestly, if you want to grind out Russian aviation, buy something else. There's a lot of other options in the tech tree for Russian aviation. Don't buy this. Don't buy that. No. It's not fun. Looks like that was all the helicopters and plane all the not all the helicopters, all the aircraft. So um we're gonna move on to tanks, which I'm not too good with tanks, but hey, there we go. Let's start out with the King Tiger, which is a tank I actually own and use. For twenty bucks it's pretty fun. It's a pretty good type of tank. There's not much to say. It's got met armor, especially at 6.7. You're just gonna get, you're gonna get fucked around by heat. A lot of tanks are just gonna shoot heat FS that goes right through your front plate like a knife through butter. So you know that's always fun, and you might get an up tier where you might see BMP ones. So yeah, have fun getting shot at by an ATGM. But besides the whole up tiers and everything and you know the crappy BR, this thing is pretty good. You got a nice gun. It's very fun to use. Not that expensive at twenty dollars. You get some golden eagles and premium time. And if you're looking for a good rank four premium for Germany, I'd say pick up the Cake Tiger. It's not bad. Alright, next, what else do we have? T-72 terms, I'm gonna go over quickly because I don't know too much about these tanks. I have the terms. It's pretty fun. The reverse is dog shit. If you're a new player, don't buy this. Don't buy this. I'm level 100 and sometimes it's very difficult. You gotta be cracked to use this. Same thing with the Leopard. If you're like a beginner player, don't buy this. Buy the King Tiger. Type 69A. If you're a high rank China, buy it. If you're a beginner, don't buy it. I can say the same thing for all these tanks. If you're a beginner, don't buy the modern tanks. Just don't. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be a slaughter. Alright, helicopter. Shit, if you want a helicopter for China, there you go. It's $25. Um, it's pretty good. Same thing with the Black Shark. It's a pretty good helicopter for Russia. It's a solid buy. Oh, shit. God, there's something else to be said here about the other tanks. T-29, pretty good. The Term 3, I bought it. It's pretty good. Yeah, the tanks. I don't really have much to say about the tanks. You can go look at another YouTube channel. I mainly know about planes. But, yeah, that, is, that aside, guys. That was, um... That's the 10th anniversary birthday sale. Uh, do remember, take this to note. On December, they're going to do another Christmas sale. So, don't feel like you're rushed to buy something now. They're going to do another sale in December. So, it's not like you're gonna have to wait till next year to buy something, no. They're literally gonna put this shit on sale again in December. So yeah, that was the Gaijin's big sale for their birthday. Premium account is not on sale, guys, by the way. That sale ended. So no, you can't buy 128 days. 180 days for 20 bucks, nope. Um, but that was it for the birthday sale. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for um, the A10 guide. A10 guide is me coming very soon, guys, so stay tuned for that. Uh, anything, anything. Bye. Peace.